Your Voice Works. Welcome to How Your Voice Works. My name is Alyssa Weinzimmer, and I'm a vocal health specialist and the founder of Voice Body Connection. I'm so glad you're here to learn more about the anatomy and mechanics of your voice. I'll give you a heads up right now. This is a science class for big kids. I'm a total geek about anatomy and the voice, and I hope you're ready to geek out right with me. So let's start by asking my favorite question, the big old W-H-Y question. Why? Why should you learn how your voice works anyway? Well, if you wanted to be a mechanic, you'd have to learn what's under the hood. It would be silly to grab a wrench and start messing around before you'd actually paid attention to how the car is put together. You might mess something up, right? So we have to learn how things are put together because how we understand a thing informs how we use or fix it. So now, how does sound get made? In order for a human being or even an inanimate object to make noise, there need to be three things, power or energy, a source of vibration, and a filter that amplifies the vibration from the source. What I just described is called the power source filter model. Let's look at an example of this first in a guitar. The human hand provides the power, the strings are the source of vibration, and the body of the guitar provides the filter that allows the sound of the guitar to resonate. Make sense? So now, how does this work in a human? The respiratory system, which is the breathing system in our body, is the power source for our voice. The vocal folds, commonly called the vocal cords, are the source of vibration. And the vocal tract, which is the tube above our vocal folds and what's called our pharynx, is the primary area of filtering and creation of resonance, though truly our entire body is actually our resonating chamber. And humans are also unique in that we have something no other species has, the ability to form our voice into speech sounds and create language. This course, How Your Voice Works, is a lecture that I've been giving for a number of years in my voice classes with actors, singers, teachers, and public speakers. In the lecture, I divide the How Your Voice Works progression into seven distinct steps. If we ask the question, what happens when I want to make sound, the seven-part answer I offer is as follows. The first step is that we have an impulse to say something. Next, our body responds to that impulse with movement. Part of that movement is taking a breath in. As that inhalation becomes an exhalation and travels up our airway, it encounters our vocal folds and powers the onset of sound. That sound then bounces around and is amplified in the vocal tract in a process called resonance. And next, we shape that resonant sound through articulation. Finally, we put those speech sounds in a certain order and they become recognizable as language. So that progression again is impulse, body, breath, sound, resonance, articulation, and language. To think about this in real life, imagine you're standing on a street corner and someone next to you is about to step out in front of a car. Thankfully, you have amazing reflexes, so you dive to stop them before they do. No. If we go through what happened in that moment in slow motion, first your eyes flashed with the impulse to stop the person. Next, your body began to move, which included taking a breath in, and as you were breathing out, you started to make sound, which was very quickly resonant and articulate, and came out as the word, no. Make sense? But going back to the progression of how your voice works, let's actually do something crazy. Let's flip the list upside down so it's bottom to top. From the bottom up, impulse, body, breath, sound, resonance, articulation, and language. Why did I do this? Because our voice travels up and out. We can even go back to that graphic of the person I showed you before, and you can see that this person is gesturing up and out in the direction that his voice is traveling. I chose that on purpose. I like to think about it this way. The human voice is like a tube or a channel or a pipe or even a river flowing upwards, and the stuff flowing through it goes up and out. This makes sense anatomically. After all, air enters our body through either the nose or our mouth and goes down our windpipe into our lungs. So when air comes in, it goes down and into the lungs, and when it goes out, it goes up and out from the lungs. I believe this idea of up and out is a very significant thing to note when we're talking about our voice, because the thing is, we have a strong relationship as humans to getting things out of our body in a downward direction. After all, that's how solids and liquids exit us. 
In order to get things out in that direction, we squeeze in and push down. So we might be tempted to squeeze in and push down when making sound, but that pattern isn't gonna work very well for our voice. We have to send our energy up and out. I'll talk about all this more in module three of the class on breathing, when I'll also address the illustrious, mysterious diaphragm. But for now, let's go back to the big picture. The course that follows this overview is divided in a way that reflects the power source filter model. It's split into three corresponding fundamentals, inspiration, voice, and speech. The first fundamental is inspiration. In this fundamental, we'll talk about the impulse to speak, how the body responds, and our power source, the breath. We'll even come up with a whole new way to define breathing, which will help you support your voice with greater freedom and ease. The second fundamental is voice. In this fundamental, we'll talk about how sound is created at the vocal folds and how resonance is created in the vocal tract. You'll learn what makes your voice sound like it does and how you can change it if you so choose. The third fundamental is speech. In this fundamental, we'll talk about articulation and how we form speech sounds into language. Of course, there's lots of overlap between these areas and we'll talk about the nuance of all that during the course. So how does this course work? When you log in, you'll find all of the recorded modules I've just mentioned. Each module includes the main video and two exercise videos to help you master the content experientially. For every module, I've also invited an important mentor of mine, a leader in the field, to be interviewed as a guest expert. There are lots of anatomical images and videos included in the course too, so you can see what's going on in your body. Plus, each module includes lots of resource links for your ongoing study. The entire course is go at your own pace, but you can set up email reminders if you'd like a nudge to keep you moving through it. You'll also have plenty of access to me in real time. When you enroll, you'll become part of my online community where you can ask your questions about the course and vocal health. I also host regular online Q&A chats you can attend and additional courses on topics including presence, energy, mindset and habits, breathing, and delivery. You'll be the first to have access to those classes as they come along and bonuses as they're added to the course. So if you're ready to dive in, I invite you to open up this interactive online textbook and learn how your voice works. We'll dive deep into vocal health and anatomy in an accessible way and have fun while we're doing it. Fill out your information below and I'll have the first module in your inbox in no time at all. See you soon in the rest of How Your Voice Works. How Your Voice Works.